the reason why we are talking about this subject is because it's probably the number one question that we get all the time. What should I charge? I mean, there's so many different ways to go about this. Like, I'm a beginner just out of school. Should I charge X, Y, and Z? I, um, my market, my area is the prices are this. What should I charge? Uh, do I need to increase the pricing for, for add-ons if you're doing art and glitter? All these things we're gonna answer. We're gonna try to make this simple. The one thing I do love is the way that Tracy has pricing figured out is it's in a formula and it's super easy to understand and grasp. I really like this. <laughs> What's so funny? I like this because I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna say. And you're like, oh, I got you. And now you're just like, Tracy. Do, <laughs> do you, wait, wait, wait. I do have it, pricing. Of, so, yes, you do. <laughs> I just thought I'm it was like, funny. now I'm confused <laughs> I just, because literally all we talk about so for the I last got 10 you. years. Tracy. <laughs> well, I'm here to guide the conversation. Mm, you, okay? are, you are the guider. I'm the guider. I'm not a nail technician. I've never claimed to be a nail technician. So pricing is, of course, I have knowledge about it through you because you were in the salon. So bring us your expertise, Trace. And I'm going to guide the conversation as I do. Thank you very much. This is what I'm good at. Pat my back. Pricing. Where does somebody start? Whether you're new or if you're experienced and you feel like you need a change in pricing because like you're spinning your wheels and you're struggling. You're yeah. like, yo, I need to. So like just. It's a loaded question. It's a lot. Because there's no one. Oh, this is it. Okay. There was the formula. There's, there's, there's. It, outside situations that are going to yeah determine so first what i'm going to do if i'm moving to a new town whether i'm new or into the industry or i'm a, a veteran to the industry but i'm moving to a new location uh, city i'm going to look at what everybody else is charging not that that's really going to dictate my price here yeah but I got to get an idea of the market because if everybody's charging 60 and i come in at 300 <laughs> You only need one. You only need one. It might be a little far-fetched. Or, doggone it, I'm charging 60 and everybody else is charging 300 and they're yeah. getting it. So, I, you know, I want to be, uh, I want to know my market. So, let me ask you a question about that. So, what type of uh, research is that? So, like, what kind of salon? You're, you're, you're looking at, you've got to look at comparable mm -hmm. To your services, right? Because I think a lot of what a lot of people do is they'll say, well, I'm going to offer X, but they'll look at, you know, maybe pricing of like somewhere that's less expensive and go, well, that's not how am I supposed to? It's it's less expensive. They're going to drive by their walk-in salon. Right. No shame in a walk-in salon because I love walk-in salons. hundred percent. Love them. Um, so, but you're going to drive by, you know, this might be, oh, I see uh, full sets are starting at $25 there. Oh, wow. This isn't, man, that's really, I don't want to price my stuff. They aren't charging $25. Right. Why? Why is that? Why because do you, you get in there. Do you want length? Yes, it's right. more. Do you want art or color? It's more. Do you want... They do you want gel polish on top? Yes, that's more. That's an extra charge. They they just do it a la carte. They just price it differently. Now you can get that twenty five dollar set there probably, but it's probably just an overlay. It's probably just a quickie. It's it's just, there's so we can't determine off that though. We can we can drive by and take a look. Um, I always give the example of I get my pedicures done there. They always have a twenty dollar special pedicure. I have never come out of there less than sixty five dollars for right. the pedicure, right. and that's before tip. Why? Because I like a nice pedicure, and they give me all these choices. I could have gotten the twenty. Yeah, it would have been a short, sweet pedicure. So but, yeah, so we got to do a little more looking around. We can look. You know, a lot of people are putting their prices on Instagram and their portfolios on Instagram. Let's look up our city. Let's, uh, hey, I've driven by, uh, by and I see Habib's nail salon. Uh, it looks really nice. It's always packed. You know what? I'm going to go onto their Instagram or their website and I'm going to check out their pricing. What? That's the kind of salon kind of business I want to right, be. Right. Let me check out their pricing. Oh, wow. Habib's getting X, Y, Z. Uh, is this the norm? 
it doesn't matter because he's packed. Yeah, packed. I can see it. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, now I go by uh, Habib's uh, nail emporium and it, there's nobody there but Habib. I see that he's charging $400 uh, for his sets. And you know what? That's probably not going to be what I want to do because right. nobody's there but Habib. Right. So we got we got that research that we do where we're trying to find out what people get right we we always want to go okay are, are most people getting acrylic or most people getting gel know your market we have to know our pricing our market i think it's important like what you're saying like you 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 need to you can't just go off of like that face value 30 35 dollars for a full set whatever that is you have to go in deeper and look at the menu or walk actually go in the salon and say oh i'm, I'm interested in a, in a set you know, if i want this and then you look you know with with color ten dollars extra with length ten dollars extra with this ten dollars extra and you start to add up like oh actually their pricing is more around the 60 65 maybe 70 uh, I think you, I you have to do that research. Talked about this not too long ago. I was getting a pedicure. The girl was getting a full set. She was getting all kinds of art, some rhinestones, lots of length. And I it wasn't in, over the top, but she was getting some stuff. And I think it was her price was $85. Yeah. Right. That was before her tip. That's now that's a walk-in salon. Right. You know, and they have a $25 full set right on the window. Right. So you have to, you have to do in-depth research. How's yes. that? In-depth research is absolutely key in order to set your pricing. Now, let me ask you this. Somebody that's a beginner, mm -hmm. okay? They do the research. Let's say they come to the conclusion, okay, on average, I've kind of analyzed, let's say, 10 salons in the area. It's in that $70 actual full set is maybe six let's go let's just say 60 for example you know i'm a beginner i don't have experience i don't have a full client like what does the beginner charge what do they start out with how do they go about this i don't care if you're a beginner or a vet right if you do good nails charge your worth doesn't i just because i started maybe i was a nail enthusiast for years i do bomb nails maybe Am I going to be just, I just got my license, going to charge less? No. Is a vet a veteran, someone that's been doing nails for 20 years, but still does not do nice work, supposed to charge this much because they've been doing it for 20 years? I don't think expertise really for me mm. determines your pricing. Right. And I also have a hard time going, hey, Habib, you're new. Your nails aren't quite there. So I want you to charge half because you're, you're substantiating, is that a word? It is a word. It's a word today, if it's not. Um, it's Tracy's dictionary. Uh, <laughs> you're setting your pricing, right? It's very hard, as we all know, to change our pricing once we've set our pricing. Yeah. So I would rather see you set your pricing and then do promos. Yeah. I, I'm oh, sorry. sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Because I don't really care if Habib's new, if he does nice work. And just because Habib's charging me half, if he's not doing nice work, doesn't mean I'm going to keep going to him. The, yeah. so, uh, pricing don't matter to me I want a good job you know so we have to work on that I came out of school I was not doing nice work I I know where all you were uh, my pricing was set at the salon's pricing I was independent I could have changed it I didn't do that I did promos instead and in, you know two for ones and things like that versus setting my pricing lower everybody has to make their own decision there though that's, I can't I think that's so important because the tendency for somebody new is exactly that right like god i i'm not at that level i don't have a clientele yet i'm still working out some kinks on my technique right really one of the ways that you learn is by doing and so your thought process i think for a lot of people is like well maybe i should i should start out at a lower pricing because my skill is not quite there but you made a great point of like, dude, you set your price at half. How are you at half? Let's say 70. Let's just use that as an example. Yeah. I'm not saying that's what you should charge, but let's just say you're at 70. You start charging 35 because you feel like your skill is not there. How the heck are you ever going to get back to 70? You never can just tell your clientele, I'm doubling your price. There's no we way. We go five, we go 10, you know, because we are always recommending raise your prices. Is it time to raise your prices? We have never said, Oh, you're only charging 35. You should be charging 70. Up it to 70. Get it to 70, Now, right. you could do that for new people. 
right? You could you could do that for new clientele. My the new, new pricing. New pricing. But it's really if you've built half your clientele or a full clientele, you can't just double their pricing. It's right. not okay. Right. Um, so you, you gotta you gotta look at the future you. <laughs> future you and what you wanna do. Yeah. I think that is going to help a lot of people because there's that insecurity of their work in the beginning and it's already tough for nail professionals to charge what they should. You stack that on top of the, let me just say this, there's experienced professionals that do amazing nails and still don't charge what they should. Right. So imagine somebody that's maybe starting out and still developing skill to set the pricing, you know, at a at a at a solid place is probably very scary yeah. for them. Yeah. Because you know, even if I set my price at 35 instead of 70, the pricing that you were giving. Right. If it wasn't good, the person's going to want their money back. It or they're going to want to read it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I'll tell you what, it's going to put a fire under your butt to get good. <laughs> it's going to put a fire under See, your butt. I like that. I like that you need a little bit of pressure. Not pressure that's going to crush you, but pressure of like, I need to practice every... Se- I got to get my butt up. I got to practice every single day to get my skill where it needs to be. I know that was the case for for me when we were building this business. Oh my God, Trace. Like, I... The biggest motivating factor was... Like starving, if, starving. <laughs> and if we don't do this, we're effed, yeah. you know, is like I was at, I was there every day cranking hard, you know, to just get this thing going. So I agree. There needs to be a little bit of that, you yeah. know, and I've seen, you see this a lot in hair industry. Actually, you'll see junior, uh, stylists, master stylists, things like, I don't think the years that you've done something should, uh, dictate your talent level. Your talent should I, de- I agree. determine that. Your talent should. <laughs> if you've been doing something average for 15 years, that doesn't mean that you're a master. You're it means still you're, a junior. You're still an average, you know, yeah. uh, technique wise for 15 years versus someone that, you know, really dedicates and is open minded to the techniques and open minded to learning can get there quick in a couple years and be a master. You yeah. know, I mean, it happened. It's. Yeah. It's all over the place. So my recommendation for pricing is set your pricing where you want to be in the next six months, year, right? Set it where it should be. And then let's work on promos. Maybe do model calls. Do some stuff for free. Model call. I want to practice stilettos. This this model call is for, I'm looking for three separate people who are willing to let me do whatever I want on. Use that as your practice. So you're, you're, you're getting the practice that you need and building up your talent without a cut rate where people will still complain if you don't do a good job. Yeah. You need to have, this is my pricing, but then like you said, the promotion or model call or where everybody still knows that this is your regular pricing and it's not that you're going to double it after a couple months or your first visit, next visit, it's now 70. You know what I mean? It's summer promo, short nails. This is the promo. Promo has such a, a nicer tone to totally. it than discount, yep. right? Of fifty percent off. Mm, yeah, it's promo, summer it's promo, a promotion, exactly. Okay, what about the other? Let's say the 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 flip side. Um, let's talk about somebody that is more experienced, and um, let's say they're listening to this podcast right now. Okay, whoever you are, you're listening, and then you're like, "Yo, I've never done the research," and you decide to actually do the research, let's say 10, 10 locations in your area, the the deep research that Trace is talking about, and you find out that like you're underpriced, okay? What do you do about that? How do you then make that? I know it's like, oh, you raise prices. Yes, yeah. but but how do you go like like you said, if you're like significantly underpriced, you can't just add $30 to your service overnight but what do you or maybe you do i don't know what do you do you know what i mean you're you're, you want to give your clients shock you don't want to shock them you don't and and that's not fair it's just not you know people expect price increases they expect but we have to do that a little slow slower now i 
you have to do that research. And the reason we're saying that you have to do that research is because how many techs have we talked to that are saying that are charging $40 for full sets? Uh, I mean, it's kind of crazy. I mean, that's less than when I started out doing nails in 1997. <laughs> that's crazy. In Redding, California. Right. Not a big city. Cowtown. High unemployment. I was charging that in 1997. Yeah. So I can tell you auto, right off the bat that you're not charging enough just from that, right? So you got to do that research now. What you said is, okay, <laughs> I am. I did. It, I should be charging. We'll, we'll just go with your 70, right? We'll go with the 70. Okay. How do I increase by $30? I would give yourself a pretty good increase probably by 10 off the bat. Okay. Which is still... Like that, that's not like. Do the math. Right. Let's right. say you're doing, uh, I want to be, I, I say about 40 clients a week, but you, some people, are, let's just say 20. What's the math on that? Let's say you're doing 20 clients. 20 clients a week? Yeah. Uh, 20 clients a week. That's $200 a week times uh, 52. So um, 10 grand. That's a good raise. That's a it's very a good, good raise. raise. Then what do we do? Okay. We're not going to just stay at the 10 for years past that. We're going to go. In another six months, a year, we're going to go another 10, right? Then we have to look, you know, so we can vi slowly build that up to where we need to be. And that's cost of living that people like $10, that's that's their coffee for the day. Completely. Totally doable. I think I spend more than that on coffee. You know? Right. <laughs> um, gotta love DoorDash. Uh, so that's doable. People aren't going to complain about that. Then, let's say you're not full clientele, we're going to raise all new clientele right. to that $70 price range. So the new clients are coming in. Now, they may say, why are you charging? They were loyal. They'd been here from the beginning. I can't just... And honestly, it's none of your business what I charge people. You're right. being charged $70. And I always tell my clients, please don't discuss pricing with other people. Exactly. Please don't. Because if you recommend me this, the, these are, and you always have them out. This is the salon pricing. They just know that they're getting a deal. And then we all, of course, we have to look uh, add-ons, glitters, things like that. That that if you're not charging for that, that's a huge additional income to you too. So right there is, you know, you you've got a minimum of a ten thousand dollar raise. Yep. And then it's probably going to be even more than that. Right, because any new clients are charging the full price. Yeah. Which is which is great, and that's a great way to just transition it's not immediate you can't do immediate spread it over a few years you know just knowing that over the next couple years i'm going to be giving myself raises and making getting up to that market you know something is, to look forward to it's something really six months in a year i'm gonna get another ten thousand dollar raise huge yeah. that's awesome you know? yeah so i think that's a good way of doing it without uh you know, because we say five ten dollars, clients aren't going anywhere. You do Correct. more than that, they may. But here's the thing: if you're the lowest in town, <laughs> where right. are they going to go? Right. So we also have to look at that. But we, I don't like to do that. If clients been loyal, it's not their fault that I was charging the wrong price. Correct. It's my fault that I was charging the wrong price. That's right. So nice gradual increase is it's the way to go. I think so. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts on pricing. Uh, for beginners, for advanced, uh, wherever you are, let us know. We'd love to hear about it. Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us, and we'll see you next time on the Biz Talk. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe channel now.